But if you can wait, then you'll wait. What do you think? It, it, would, it, would you describe this then as a three-week album, or is that not? Would it not be Judge Win? A, a, a three-week album? The, yeah. composi the composition, I guess. No, it took ages, that. mate. Stop lying. <laughs> it took ages. We tried. Where we did that, we went into the studio for six weeks. We had all the time in the world, and we didn't finish it. Yeah. And then uh, we, so we wrote some more songs, and then we went back into the studio with the remaining five guilders or whatever we had left. And we had five days to finish everything. We recorded six songs, and we just that was it. At the end, there was no choice, and it was that was really liberating. But why, why, why do you get caught in this? Maybe when you have so many time, what happens to you that that, that things don't happen? Well, if you can wait, then you'll wait. Yeah, I Pretty mean, I think much. we planned to finish it a little earlier than we did, but. Uh, we sort of sat down when we thought we'd finished it and went, you know what, I think it's missing a few songs. Let's go back to the basement, go back to New York, write a few more songs and then let's record it. And uh, I'm really glad we did because I think some really strong has come, come out of that last week. So it's, it's sort of that awkward moment where you're really hoping you're finished and trying to convince yourself, but actually you've got to swallow the pill and say, no, <laughs> it's not good enough yet. But how, how uh, confident were you when you went up to this small stage for the tryout venue at Tryout Show? Uh, well, even if it was all terrible, we can put on a good show. So it, it was fine. It was fine either way, and we were pleasantly surprised that it was that it all, it all worked out. But did it help you also maybe to get the response already at such early? In this Very much so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, definitely just sort of New Yorkers or, or people who support us in New York coming up and saying, oh, I really like this song, or I really like this new song, or it definitely goes in and it, gives, it builds confidence for those songs and, and the ones that you can cut, kind of tell pretty quickly which ones are working and which ones aren't. And the end goal as much as writing a good record was we want to perform this record and it feel really good and perform really well. So it's, a, it's, it's definitely an important part of the process. Yeah, what was the reaction? Was it packed when you played the show? Yeah, it? yeah, it was packed. Round. It was just like proper hardcore fans. They were, you know, they were going to be nice anyway, but you could still, which that meant we could play like with confidence and then you could still tell the difference between the songs which were, you know, going to die soon and the ones that were like, yes. How many was the scraped? How many, how many what? How songs many songs scrapped. or ideas were scrapped? Mm. One million. A lot, quite a few. 20, 15, <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20, like about 20. But yeah, there's, I'm not saying that's a huge gap, but there's some time between the last record and this one. Yeah. And you wrote all the songs for this record in three weeks. Yeah, probably. I mean, the thing is, we toured the last record for nearly two years. Mm -hmm. So actually, between ending that record cycle, which was two years long, and this, it's maybe, I don't know, 16, 18 months between starting a record and where we are now. We all took a little bit of time off, maybe three, four months, yeah. and then started. We were pretty much broken at the we end were of the Yeah, tour. we were knackered. <laughs> we just did, you know, we were playing like, multiple gigs on the same day, flying everywhere, driving for, we did, what was that bloody tour with the bravery? Yeah, that was We drove insane. like 600 miles a day in a car for five weeks for no reason at all. Um, so by the end of it, we were just like, all right. Not ready to make music let's anymore. Let's go and slap hail liquor. Yeah. Otherwise we're gonna die. It was sleep time. So then we, then we started again. But is that, is that for you something you would like to do again, or was this sort of one time in once in a lifetime experience? To We'd do like to well? do it again. We'll probably do it something similar on this record. Yeah, we'll and make smarter choices about yeah. some things. I think. Yeah. Can you name something? What was it? I think maybe we won't go around America, sort of without a direction. You know, like we've done it a few times where you just go. America's so large; it's kind of like each state is a country, and if you try and do all of it in six weeks, it feel it actually feels very diluted. You're not really reaching that many people, and I think it would be better to just focus on three, four, five main cities and just go there and play to those people intensely and maybe come back quicker and come back quicker. Whereas what we did before is just go to all these unknown places and major cities, but it's kind of diluted.